Hey guys, Jack Cuddy here, Jack of Some Trades. Uh, I ended up playing Swagbox Live thanks to my cousin. Let's just call him Irvin. Irvin Cuddy. <laughs> uh, he'll get a good laugh out of that. But uh, we ended up playing Swagbox Live. They had a 50k mega prize. Uh, it's my first time playing it, and I ended up winning it. So we're going to go through the questions. And um, the grand prize is 50k. You'd be quite surprised of how much I actually won. But I figure if you guys haven't played Swagbox Live before, it's pretty fun if you have some extra time. I don't know if as many people are going to join from other times because the prize is like 50k. But uh, let's just get going. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I want to start with some quick shout outs of people who I saw in the comments as we get ready to go. A bunch of people wishing Swagbox a happy birthday, happy early birthday, of course. Tomorrow is the big celebration, but we've been having a party all week long. And happy to have all of you with us for this very special part of our week-long party tonight. So hello to Tony Lutz, Bob and Alice, a crazy zookeeper, love that name, Marsha Clanton 44, the Tin Man Oz, you do have a heart. I'm telling you right now, you have a heart. Gold Rush 1961, Aristel Swag Lady 2924, 24 kids surfing for f for fun, 1287, Nani 3. Needy four three one zero six and Walker Fire wishing everyone luck, which I do as well. We're gonna get started in just about a minute here, but before that, this has been such a long journey to get to this biggest game ever, and I want to personally thank everybody who is involved in not only building Swagbucks Live, but all of our wonderful hosts: Nathan, Devin, Carolyn, Casey, Deshola. You hear some of their voices every week. Some of them you haven't seen in a while, but they, we would not be here without them and without the amazing work that they do, the amazing work our technical crew does. Just uh, It takes a lot of people to make Swagbugs Live run, and I'm appreciative to every single one of them. The ones that you've heard from and seen, and the many people that you have not seen or heard from. Because that's how you know when it's working. When people are they're doing their job well, you don't even know that they're there. And it's running smoothly and running on time. So happy to have every single one of you here. We are just about ready to begin. It is almost time. So get ready, folks. Get excited. The biggest game ever. If my voice gets any louder, your phone will explode. So I'm going to try to keep it down and keep it calm for you. But it was almost 14 years ago that Swagbucks first went live. And four years ago, Swagbucks Live first went on the air and we are about to celebrate both with this colossal birthday edition of Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Now, this game is big for three reasons. Number one, this is a second chance week game, which means you're getting three free rejoins just for playing. They'll be credited to your account before tomorrow's game begins. The first one, of course. Second, in this game, you will earn one bonus SB for every question you get right, including question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. But here's what I ask. If you earn bonus SB and you don't win the grand prize, stick around and claim them at the end of the game. That is how you keep them and add them to your account. But if you win the game, if you want a piece of our biggest grand prize in Swagbucks Live history, you will not have to claim anything. Your bonus SB will be rolled into your share of the huge prize. Speaking of which, the third reason, and certainly not the least reason, why this game is big is our largest ever grand prize. Look at it there, filling up your screen. We've got $50,000 on the line, more than ever before. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions about a bunch of different topics, you will win your share of it. That's all you have to do. And for those of you saying this is gonna be a hard game, eh, no. It's going to be easy. We're going to have fun. We want you to win as many SP as possible. So let's get it going. Why don't we blow the candles out on these comments right now and get to question number one, which it pleases me to say is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Question number one. What superhero team boasts members including Iron Man, Captain America, and Black Widow? Is it the Outsiders, the Pink Ladies, or the Avengers? What superhero team could I possibly be talking about with those members? Now, in the movies, when Nick Fury meets Captain Marvel, he learns about bigger threats to the Earth than he ever thought possible, leading him to form the Avengers. That's right, the Avengers is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right. What a perfect start to this $50,000 game. Speaking of which, 
after getting that because that question was was answered correctly by the way by 45,400 plus people and already all of the people eliminated have come back in pretty much everybody doing it for free we also have some of our stragglers some of our latecomers if you're just showing up now welcome to the $50,000 game I'm so glad you're here I'm so excited we have almost 48,000 people playing the game and almost all of those people are in grand prize contention so what do you say we move on now to question number two. It is also worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, question two. Which of these people is best known for their contributions to fashion? Is it Bob Marley, Larry the Cable Guy, or Calvin Klein? We're looking for who is the fashion person in this list. Now, while they make a variety of clothing, they're best known for their underwear lines, which got a big boost from their inclusion in Back to the Future. You remember... You remember when Marty's mom called him Calvin Klein because that was the name on his underwear. Calvin Klein is the answer. Isn't he a dreamboat? 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. You're cruising through this game. That is what I love to see. I want nothing but the best for you. This is, you know, it's, it's our birthday, but we're giving out the gifts. We're giving them out to all of you. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. On this issue. I'm just going to click something real quick. See if I can... Get it working. And hopefully that picks it up. If you are having trouble hearing me, I hope you can hear me better now. Because we are getting ready to move on to question number three. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is Q3. Morocco and Egypt are both countries on what continent? Is it Africa, North America, or Antarctica? On which of these continents would you find Morocco and Egypt? This continent is always fun to write trivia questions about. For example, did you know that Africa is the only continent that sits in all four hemispheres? Africa is the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. Well done. Happy to see you getting that one correct. The 3% who said North America, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just a, a group of states in Canada up there. But if you answered Africa... You are correct. If you didn't get it right, this is a good opportunity to rejoin. So please do so. We're going to give you just a second to rejoin. And we are just about ready to move on now. Here comes question number four. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is Q4. R2-D2 and C-3PO are characters in what movie? Is it Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 2001 A Space Odyssey, or Star Wars? Which one of these films features those characters inspired by the classic comedy team of Laurel and Hardy? They were the comic relief in a movie set in a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. The answer, of course, is Star Wars. Star Wars. Nothing but Star Wars. Yes, the answer is Star Wars. 99% of you got it right. Yes, Star Wars. If you can't hear me, you can't hear me sing. And you're happy you can't hear me sing Star Wars. We are moving on to question number five right now. Here we go. Question number five incoming worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Who won the 2022 Super Bowl? Who won that 2022 Super Bowl? Was it the Los Angeles Rams, the New York Yankees, or the Boston Celtics? Who won the 2022 Super Bowl? It just happened. Now, for the second year in a row, this is pretty interesting. One of the teams playing in the Super Bowl got to compete and win football's biggest prize in their home stadium. Last year, of course, was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but this year, your Los Angeles Rams Super Bowl champions. Congratulations to all of the Rams fans. Congratulations to the 96% of you got that one right. We could hear, I, I'll tell you, what, close enough to the stadium that when they did the jet flyover, I could hear the vroom afterwards. And, of course, everybody out in the streets honking their horns, shooting off fireworks, so excited to have another championship brought to L.A. The Lakers, the Dodgers, the Rams, lots of championships coming here to Los Angeles in the last couple of years. And I see a lot of you getting closer to the championship yourselves. We have 44,000 people who are still in the running for a piece of this 50 
thousand dollar grand prize we are now halfway through the biggest game in the history of swag bucks live this next question is worth one bonus sb if you get it right here is question number six which of these styles of music heavily features the banjo is it heavy metal bluegrass or classical which of these styles of music has a whole bunch of banjo in it it's an American form of folk music born in the Appalachian Mountains and named for Bill Monroe's band. And that band was called the Bluegrass Boys. Bluegrass is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. Did you know, while we wait for anybody who wants to rejoin to do it, that Steve Martin, one of the funniest people on the planet, is also a, a wonderful virtuoso banjo player. If you've not seen him play banjo, uh, he is incredible and he's a band called the Steep Canyon Rangers, and they play here in Los Angeles from time to time. So if you're ever in L.A., see if there's a Steep Canyon Rangers show, and you can watch Steve Martin play the banjo. For now, you can listen to me move on to question number seven. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q7. London is the capital of what country? Is it Russia, Ghana, or England? Which of these countries calls London their capital? Or as they might say, the capital the capital governor as far as european capitals go it's far from the oldest but it's been around since 43 a.d that gives you a sense one of the new kids on the block and it has become a financial and fashion capital of the world you know we're talking about london yes london england london england merry old england we had almost everybody get that question correct love to see that 99.7 of you getting that one right that means we can move right on to question number eight, it's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is Q8. Complete this Dr. Seuss title. The cat in the hat, long distance relationship, or thick of it. What is that cat in? I bet most of you have read this. I'm just going to guess on that one. The unnamed narrator and his sister Sally find themselves bored while sitting at home on a cold rainy day. But then... The cat in the hat arrives to mix things up. The cat in the hat is the answer. We were looking for hat there. 99.5% of you getting that one right. Well done. Thing one and thing two would be so proud of you. And we are moving on now to question number nine. It is worth, you guessed it, one bonus SB to all 48,000 plus of you who are still here in this game. Here is question number nine. What do you need to add to a slip and slide to make it work? Is it water, sand, or dreams? Which of these do you really need to get a slip and slide up to its full potential? At the end of the day, it's just a plastic sheet. Spoiler alert. But when you unroll it in your yard, and then you add just a little bit of water to it, you get endless hours of fun. Water is the answer. 99% of you getting that one right. That means 42,399 people have made it this far and are ready for our final question. Oh my goodness, we have never had this many people primed to win a piece of a grand prize before. And you know, this is our biggest game ever, but the fun doesn't end here. The whole week has been a huge birthday party for Swag Bucks. And tomorrow, the Swag Bucks Live party continues because we have two games for you. The first one at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, and a second at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific Time. Both of them are $1,400 grand prize games. Of course, $1,400 because it's our 14th birthday. Yes, that's right. With nine bonus SB available in each game. And of course, it's second chance week, so you get three free rejoins for playing each one. So you're going to want to check that out. Two more opportunities to win. That's all we do here. All we do is let you win, win, win no matter what at Swag Bucks Live. Also, since Monday, we've been running a special promotion where every person who uploads a Swagit video that contains life hacks, tips and tricks, funny pet moments, or moving inspirational stories will be entered into a drawing. You have to use the hashtag SwagBucksTurns14 when you post your video, and it needs to be posted by 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Time tomorrow. The winners will be chosen by 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time tomorrow. The grand prize winner will win $100. 10 second place winners will get 50 bucks. 10 third place winners will get 25 bucks. 10 fourth place winners will get 10 bucks. 10 fifth place winners will get five bucks. What I'm saying is a lot of people are gonna win a whole lot of bucks because that's what we do. We give stuff away. Swagit is an amazing app where you get rewarded no matter what you do. You can create 
wonderful content for people that inspires them, makes their day better, so they're getting enriched. Then they can give you SB as a thank you for posting that content so you get something. And then when you look around, you're going to find video content that inspires you, makes you laugh, teaches you something. You can give them SB. So this is a way to connect with people and educate them and share what makes you most special. That's what we love. Swagit is available for iOS and Android, and you just log in using your Swagbucks credentials if you've never used it before. As a special bonus for Swagbucks Live players, if you head over to Swagit after this and gift at least one creator, one SB, before 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Pacific Time, you will get a 25 SB bonus that will credit by the end of the day tomorrow. Have you even kept track of how many ways you can earn and win from Swagit? Because I, I've almost lost track at this point. You just have to go check out the app if you haven't done it already. And if you do have it, you know what to do. You have your instructions. All right, folks. We have arrived at our last question. We have 42,608 people vying for a piece of our $50,000 grand prize. We have over 48,000 people total in the game. Another bonus SB is on the way. But first, thanks for being here and helping us celebrate 14 years of creating rewarding moments for our members here at Swibuck. So excited. I'm swallowing whatever little bit of moisture is left in my mouth. But of course, 14 years of swag bucks, creating those rewarding, rewarding moments for you. We thank you for being here. And now let's move on to question number 10 worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which birthday is swag bucks celebrating this week? Is it our 5th, our 10th, or our 14th? Which could it be? I mean, the hints are everywhere. But think about it. Take your time. I don't want to pressure you. As if this gigantic game in Second Chance Week hasn't been exciting enough. We've got a lot of special goodies planned for tomorrow, which of course is officially our 14th birthday. 14th is the answer. 41,598 people knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to every single one of you who won this game. The most winners we've ever had. Hey, so there you have it. I ended up winning the 50K live swag bucks tournament thing. Uh, it's more so trivia, but I ended up winning 131 swag bucks total because it's a split prize between, I think, 41,598 winners. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, still, it's great to win. Uh, my cousin Irvin, he's the one that tells me he wins between 10 and 12 bucks frequently if he does win whenever he has time to play. So my only guess is because the prize pool was so big, they had so many other players play. And this was during like, I think eight o'clock at night. So it was a pretty primo time for a lot of people to be on. They also have other tournaments, I think they mentioned during the week. So I probably won't be able to do those because just time and everything else. But I figured this was just fun to join and try and just to see what would happen. Uh, I'm not gonna shy away from doing this again in the future if I happen just to be sitting around or watching a movie or something like that and just try to see what works. Uh, the 10 second format is pretty good because it helps you kind of keep your your wits about you but uh, the overall game was took about 15 minutes so uh, i think that's all i need to say uh, congratulations to me and uh, yeah i won the 50k split prize <laughs> for what it's worth um but hey, as we continue to grind our way up um it's always nice to try new things so till next time you guys take it easy <laughs>